Hello, welcome to this new edition of Weird Eatery. Today we'll be making... Frank! I told you you could be on the show. I didn't say you could host it. <laughs> Greetings. Welcome to another edition of Awkward Cooking. On today's episode, we're going to be making a bacon, Hawaiian pizza, no dough. No dough! How the fuck can it Today what we're going to need for ingredients is a couple things. We need cheese. Can't, can't, catch! We need bacon. And more bacon. And more bacon. And more bacon. Camera guy, if you want to follow me. Now the other ingredients that we're going to need is we need to make a wine one. But I already have the wine stuff cooking, simmering in my little crock pot over here of goodness. Open it up. Smell it. Smells delicious. We got some ham, we got some pineapples, we got cherries, we got juice. I've already added some honey too. Make that shit taste great. It's gonna taste like sex. Let that stuff simmer. Now, people are wondering how you make a pizza with no dough. The question, that's the question. The answer is you make a bacon weave. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the bacon weave, put it down in the pan, bake it, Flip it, get rid of the grease, and when I put it back in, it says 10 minutes, I'm gonna put it in for five, and then for that final five, that's when I'm gonna put the toppings on, with the cheese and everything. It's gonna be fantastic that way, trust me. All right, now, my assistant went and got thick sliced bacon. I don't know why. But what we're gonna do, put the strips down. Put just, the strips down. I just figured, you know, a weave would need thick. So, one of our viewers wondered why we like to te we tend to like to, you know, use pineapple with, with a lot of our meals. It's because, well, for me, I think it's like pirate's gold. And I like the taste, and the women like the taste afterwards. If you know what we mean. Now, what I like to do is I want to make sure they have enough strips to put down that will be the length of the piece of bacon that I'm about to use. Looks like a pretty good weave. Looks like a good amount of bacon. Try to make it as closely knit as possible. That's just how I do. First thing you gotta do, move the middles. Put this piece of bacon down. Put it back. Put it back. Now, if you don't know how to make a bacon weave, look it up. Basically, you fold, you do every other. Do this repeat process. They get enough bacon down. And now I'm putting my, laying down my final piece of bacon on this fantastical look of weave. First time I ever did it. So if you don't believe in yourself, just fucking do it. It's bacon. Wham, look at that. That looks amazing. Some people think I'm a god. I am. Some people think you're a freak. I am. We got that all nice looking pretty. Look at that. It's a bacon weave. It took me what, 20 seconds on YouTube time? We put that in the oven. You want to put it at 375. You first put it in, you put that in for 15 minutes. Set your timer. When it comes out, we're going to flip it. Get rid of the grease, and then put it in for an additional 10. Now one thing I forgot to add, 
to my bacon is I want to make a little bit of candy. We got the regular flavored bacon. And if you know anything about a lot of spices, it's just not going to do it. I'm going to add some cinnamon to this bacon. Candy it up a little bit. Give it a nice taste. I'll put it back in the oven. Forget it. Now while the bacon's bacon, we're going to throw some bacon down on the griddle because griddles are what you need in 2013. So we're going to do a little couple of appetizers. I got some homemade maple syrup straight from a maple tree over my friend's house. We we'll put that shit on here. Appetizers. What we do. Go we'll put a hose on a tree. Get some fresh maple. Time is going off. Time to flip it. Take that out. Now, when I took it out of the oven, when I went to go flip it, it kind of broke apart. So I had to reconstruct the whole uh, bacon weave itself. Thick bacon, you got to do the temperatures differently. You want a little bit more crispy before you decide, decide to flip it. But now it's being fixed. Back in the oven. We'll throw that in for at least another 10 minutes. I'm realizing it's going to take a little bit longer than expected. But nonetheless, the results are going to be the same. Excellent. All right, now we flipped the bacon. Here's what the weave looks like. We're going to put it back in there for another 5-6 minutes and then we'll start adding toppings to it. Well, the bacon weave is basically done. We're going to take it out, we're going to get rid of a little bit more grease and then we're going to start adding toppings to it. Once the toppings are added, you throw it in the oven for maybe 5 minutes. It's not going to take long once the toppings are added. Everything's basically done. just want to hold that bacon weave back. Bitches know, we just aren't supposed to fall out of here or the pants. Look at the cutting board. Look at that. Look at that comfy cozy bacon bed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ham down first. The reasoning is because if you put down the other ingredients, there's a possibility it's going to seep through through the little slits in the bacon. So you put down the ham as a solid barrier. Solid. Looks beautiful. Some pineapples. That's how we do. I've got all my ingredients out of the crock pot. It's been simmering for a few hours, so it's gonna give everything a nice taste. Everything's basically cooked, we're just heating it up a little bit. Call it a day. Cheese. Today, Colby Jack. Add a little bit more. You already made it this far. Top it off, cherries. Look at that. You know that looks amazing. I got six people looking at me with their mouths watering. There's not even six people in the room. In the back of the oven. One minutes away from orgasm. And this is how you make cupcakes. Cupcakes! We had Italy out. Bacon pizza. No dough. No dough! Aqua cooking out. We got a challenge from a viewer, so challenge accepted, and we passed. Put a hose on a tree. Get some fresh maple. <laughs>